Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? You're welcome to yet another episode of our weekly recap. Of course, it's your favorite girl, B, and you trust me to bring to you guys all the gist that happened in the entertainment sector throughout the week, right to your doorstep. All right, guys, let's go right in. <laughs> On international scene, former actress Amanda Bynes has been placed on a psychiatric hold after being spotted walking naked through the streets of downtown Los Angeles. According to TMZ, the 36 years old was seen in the early hours on Sunday morning being the 19th of March 2023 as she brought a stranger's car to a halt before telling them that she had suffered a psychotic episode. Then she took it upon herself to call law enforcement officials for help. Upon her arrival at a nearby police station, a mental evaluation test was performed on the hairspray star, which made it apparent that Bynes was unwell and needed to be placed on a 5150 hold. The Nickelodeon alumni didn't appear to have suffered any injuries and remained hospitalized until later this week, though it remains unclear at this point that the 5150 hold, which usually lasts only for 72 hours, needs to be extended. This is so sad. Whatever she's going through, I wish her a speedy recovery. Now, onto the local news. Davido finally breaks his silence and social media absence with an Instagram post announcing his next album, Timeless, which will be dropping on the 31st of March 2023. Gosh, I can't control my excitement. I'm super happy and excited to see him back doing what he loves doing most and I pray that nothing will take his joy away again. Moving forward, actress Monica Steven has come out to say that her boyfriend goes down on her when she's on her period. This revelation had almost everyone questioning her sanity and that of her boyfriend. Lastly guys, actress Sonia Ogiri shares her two cents post 2023 election. In an Instagram post, she said, it's safe to say authoritatively that Nigeria wasn't primed for independence and we should blame it on our hero's past. Why in a hurry for freedom when they learned absolutely nothing from their teachers? We still couldn't get anything right since 1960. We now run to countries that were truly colonized by the colonial masters today. If our leaders, president saw nothing wrong with this electoral process, then Nigeria can never get better. If a Desmond Elliott is re-elected for the third term, that's 12 years in office, after all said and done, other politicians 16 to 18 years, then there is no hope for the common Nigerian. Let's not deceive ourselves. And with that, guys, we've come to the end of yet another amazing episode on our weekly recap. If you're not yet following us on any of our social media handles, please do so right about now. On Instagram, we'll go by e.com underscore official. For Facebook, we'll go by e.com official. For YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. we we'll go by e.com official. And for Twitter, we'll go by e.d.o.t.c.o.m. 01. All in our case alphabets. I remain your favorite girl, B. And I'll be seeing you guys same place, same time next week. Bye, guys.